Well, hello once again from makingmoneyfromjunk.com. We're here today to talk about CD-ROM drives and a little more advanced type of uh, collection of gold and silver and other precious metals that you might get out of one. I uh, wanted to go through several different CD-ROMs real quick with you, show you some of the things that you might can find. Now, I was real surprised just uh, just now opened up a CD-ROM drive and uh, found nice, some nice gold on the back of this. This is the first one of these I've seen in, in hundreds of CD-ROMs I've opened. This is the first one that I've seen with such nice uh, gold on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and snap that off of there. Now, uh, I don't recommend, like, uh, you've got a saw sitting right here. I could cut that off, but I highly recommend that you never use a saw to cut on the PC board. You should use pliers like this. This is my favorite tool. Uh, some people use uh, various and sundry different things, but that's what I use to cut it off of there. Uh, using a saw can uh, will make that stuff go airborne and it contains some real nasty stuff that even sometimes a mask doesn't help get uh, all of it out so I highly recommend to not use a saw to cut PC boards that's my personal preference uh, you know you got to do it the way that you think you want to do it but um, I highly recommend not using that as a, a tool that, that you would do well here's what we're going to talk about our main thing uh, topic for the day is getting into the CD-ROM and grabbing other gold and things other than just the, the main board and then the metal case. Now here's basically what you're going after. is this nice little piece right here. Now that's the, the optic diode and uh, any type of photo optic diode typically will have a lot of gold on it. This one happens to be a large one and it happens to have more gold on it than most of them I've seen but I brought it out so we could uh, easily see it in the camera. Now I can't really zoom in too much here but I uh, don't know if we can even see not really. Maybe you can see it better if I just leave it out there. There's some wires on there. There's usually three wires on the on the end, and that's a telltale sign of something that you want to look for in your board. Now I've pulled one of these out, and, and uh, every one of them seems like every CD-ROM has a different mechanism for doing this. But uh, generally, here's what they consist of. They're going to have an eye that's going to pick up the uh, the reading of the laser, whether it's reading or writing or whatever, but they've got this little glass eye that starts to focus the stuff. And then they're going to have either a, some sort of reflector. They rarely are straight through. And this is just for size and shape kind of stuff, but the light would come in this direction and then bounce over here, and in this case it would head over to this end. And uh, a, a mechanism similar, a photodiode similar to that one, is what I pulled out from this end over here that's all broken off. So uh, that's kind of what we're looking for every time. And so let's look in here and see what we can find uh, when, we, when we look in these other CD-ROMs. Now, we've got, um, sorry about that, we've got a uh, uh, little thing here. One of the things we want to try to pick up, when we can find them, and they're not, they don't seem to be in every drive, but they seem to be in a lot of them. And I always like to go ahead and pull this little, this little uh, IC out of there because it contains some precious metals. It certainly has some gold in there and uh, it could have some platinum or some other things. Again, the refiner would help tell us more about what that's going to have. And uh, then I want to look around to where that that uh, eye came in on this one. And the eye is on this side. So we look straight through and we're, we're looking through into here and we can see that it angles off and uh, to one side or the other. Well. If you can see right over here in this little corner, we've got some wires coming out, and that's where our little gold diode is going to be in this one. So then you got to break into it, and you got to you know pull this out, take the screws apart. It's a bit of work and effort, uh, so not everybody wants to go after that, but it's uh, available if you want to go there. So let's quickly look at some of these other uh, drives. This one you can see has a little IC chip on the top, and the uh, the gold diode. Is right here on the side. Much easier to see, much easier to access, and we'll pop that out real quick and, and simple. But as you can tell, not every one of them is as easy to get to as others. And here's here's another one. Let's go in there so we look for where it's going on the other side. Well, we've got this big plate that we're going to have to take off, and once we take that off, uh, let me see if I can just pop it off there. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they have to get a screwdriver. Well, under there we can see that there's a uh, a chip, and so we'd want to follow that along and see if we can find the. Uh, there it came off better. But we want to see if we can get into any of the rest of that and find the gold wires and the gold diode. Some of them are just impossible to find, or I find they're too hard to get out of there. Another couple of them here, real quick. 
Uh, this one was quick and easy to see right off to the side, so um, that was nice. But again, the same thing holds true. You've got the eye coming in, and then under here, you'd find a prism or something, and that's going to bounce the light over into that diode. Here's one that's real complex. It's got copper over it and everything else. I believe the diode is probably right here with all these wires. I haven't actually found it physically by looking at it. But again, same procedure you'd go through. You take the eye and you follow through and, yeah. and figure out where it is. Um, one more over here. And um, you uh, have to take this metal off of here and try to figure everything out. A lot of times what you can see is that it's over here on the side. And uh, this thing will just pop off. And then that's probably where that diode is, is under there. But again, you got to break into all this stuff. Sometimes you can find screws to take it apart. I find some of them to be just so hard that I don't even take them out. I just go ahead and toss it because if I spend more than about 20 or 30 seconds on it, it's probably not worth even the gold amount that's in there. So there you go, a little more advanced thing about uh, CD-ROM drives and uh, how to find the gold and some of the other uh, recoverable materials in there. So lots of luck to you. Keep digging in there and uh, making money from junk. Be sure and visit makingmoneyfromjunk.com. Get your ebook. Lots of folks been doing that, and uh, they're out there just doing just what it says, making money from junk. Look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye now.